He made bail last time because we didn't have a body. No body, no case. You know that. Maybe, but we had evidence. Some evidence. All of it's circumstantial. And not enough to make a case. But unless you've come up with something more than you had last time, I'm going to be forced to drop the charges. You can't do that. I have a case. I just need time. You've had your time, Sheriff. It makes my skin crawl. Maggie, stop. Look, okay, I just don't want anyone to get hurt. Okay, this is golden. We're solid here. We're going we're gonna to go in and we're going to clean out. I mean, how many times have we got over this? We have others to help. We're not doing this alone. It's been a long time since I made anything but those vases. It was the only thing I ever made for Ken. He didn't quite see the value in doing something that didn't make money. You know, with Ken, I make one statue and suddenly I'm clay makers. I just want my garage back. I'm confident that the California economy will pick up by the end of the next quarter. Yes, Mary. Can you give us an update on Project Redux? I'm glad you asked that, Mary. I'm happy to report that the first month has gone off without a hitch. The first virtual prison is a complete success. There were some improvements. Mm -hmm. Jim initiated the intercourse, which was nice. How so? Well, he came to bed and he didn't immediately put on his snore guard mask. Good for you, Jim. Yes, he didn't apologize once until the very end. And I had come to expect that. Sorry. Well, just like you, Jim, Brandon also experienced that sexual experimentation phase that you went through in college, so he understood. You engaged in homosexual perversions? You discussed our case with a complete stranger? I'd hardly call Barry a stranger. Isn't that like a breach of doctor-client confidentiality, right? I secretly proposed to Jim that he and I have sexual intercourse to give me a better understanding of his inadequacies. You, you said that she wouldn't find out about this, honey. Honey, I, I, I tell you, she said that it was medical experimentation. You know I would never cheat on you. And besides, I didn't even like it. Relax, Jim. I proposed the same thing to Barbara, and she accepted as well. Daughter returns. What about Ryan Lavery? Ryan's vast business experience really helped us launch and and market my new nonprofit Miranda line of cosmetics. A few weeks ago, you and Mr. Lavery confirmed to the press that you were more than just business associates. Now, his presumed dead fiance is back from the grave. He would find her, but he brought her back from the dead. And broke a lot of laws doing it. Well, he's a man in love. Uh, listen, if there's nothing else. Thanks for your time, Ms. Coleman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to cover your next case. It's always a good show. Oh, thank you. Thank you.